Okay, let's see what we can get here. This is called take an assessment. We can start now. Okay, here comes an assessment. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, data protection. See the entire notice. I confirm I have read. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wee! Data protection. See, if you look at this whole thing, we are the scope, the employer. Oh my gosh, we're supposed to read all this? And then confirmation whether you're hired. And then what we do with the data. Then the assessment category. Oh boy. And additionally, the CV or the resume. We got all this going on. Oh my gosh. Assessment using candidates' data. All right, okay. Oh, they're putting a lot of reading in here, aren't they? And we're not even halfway through. Basic video assessments category. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four. 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 Two, three, four. Four. And now we collapse the entire notice and I've confirmed I've read this notice. Yeah, right. <laughs> I agree that something shall contact me, even by email, you know, in order to participate in future test trials. Really? All right. All right. There we go. So now, <laughs> oops, looks like um, I have to get this done today. Oh, in the next two weeks. Thanks for applying to work about the assessment. It takes 17 minutes your experience, your learning potential, responsibilities. This sounds pretty good. So here's the Home Depot assessment. Are you ready? So you start. One, two, three. Let's look down here. Oh, there it is right there. Whoops. Okay, so I'm going to start. Lower right-hand corner. Boom. All right. Let's see. Ready to start. This testing experience is fabulous. You got settings and color. Think about yourself at work. Take the setting in one system. Okay. Usually I get along with other people exceptionally well. And I have been late for an appointment in the like last six months, I'd say twice. When considering the amount of recognition I receive for my accomplishments, it's usually Occasional recognition, but not much, as much as is deserved, sometimes more than deserved, not as much as anybody else. I usually work at a speed that is somewhat faster than other people. I'm, I'm not trying to be maximum. My influence is on others to do what I want them to do. What? My ability to influence others to do what I want them to do. Wow. And I'll say fair. When you ask my supervisor how fast I respond to problem situations, they will rate me somewhat faster than most people. Okay. I believe my potential to supervise others is good. If you ask my supervisor about the amount of supervision I need, they will say, Somewhat less, what does that bottom one say? Much less than others. Uh, somewhat less, let's be honest. Most accurate description of when I work best is when I'm in the mood for it. Um, when I'm left alone, when I'm under pressure, when instructions are clear. Most accurate description of when I work best are when instructions are clear. Yeah, it's good to have that. The help I've received from supervisors who assign me work while on the job has been great. People I've worked for in the past 
have usually listened to my input. Uh, relative to my peers, I'm about as ooh, aggressive. Much less aggressive than most others, yeah. The description that describes me best is that I'm sometimes predictable. On average, I usually arrive to appointments or meetings early, usually. On the following, the statement that is true of my organization is too many people waste time. There are too many people, too many people, too many people. Oh my gosh who care only about themselves, without enough drive, too many people bluff their way, too many people are not loyal. Uh, are you kidding? I have to choose one of these? The statement that is true of my organization or school, there are too many people who, who without enough drive, who care only about themselves. Well, let's go with that. Oh boy. A customer asks you a question, but you don't know the answer. You feel they expect you to know the answer. Find your maths and do that. Tell the customer that you don't know the answer, but that you will find it. That's a good one, isn't it? When we ask your most recent manager, how often will they say you accidentally provide inaccurate information? much less often than others. When we ask your most recent manager, how quickly will they say you are able to resolve really difficult customer problems? Not as fast as others, right? When a customer asks me to do something that is someone else's job, I'm most likely to know, do what I can, even if it means give them the contact person escalate the customer to my manager, find the appropriate, there we are, boom. You and the employees of other departments are discussing challenges when talking about how to improve work processes. It's most, how long you've been with the company, how similar your eyes, their role in the work process. Yeah, gotta listen to them. A customer has a problem that needs to be fixed immediately. To properly fix the problem, you will need to gather some information from the customer, but the customer is angry. What would you most likely do? Hmm. Take all the time you need to gather information. Quickly gather what you can and make other fixes later. Ask your manager. Try to fix quickly. Explain what might happen if you try to quickly sit without the information. Hmm, person's angry. Take all of the time you need. No. Try to fix some cases quickly. No, that wouldn't. Gather what if you, um, just explain what might happen if you try to quickly fix. Ask your manager for direction on what to do. Um... I think that's a nice thing. When we contact your most recent manager, how often will they say you make sure you understand what the customer needs before you start helping them? Um, this would be my first job. Oh, no. More often than others. Hmm. As often as others. Yeah. Make sure you understand what the customer needs. I'll say more often than others. All right. Customer is complaining to you about an issue. Wait, should I go back? Okay. About as often as others. Somewhat off, more often. That's nicer. We notice you're taking your time. But remember, don't overthink. Close. All right. Customer is complaining about an issue they're having with their. You know from experience that this issue was caused by the customer. They're clearly wrong. Okay. Tell them you replace the product, but you need to be careful not to do this. Tell them you will get back to them. Ask them to stop and explain. Finish coming why they're having the issue. Explain what they did to. Oh, no, 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 no. You will get back to them if you, you ask. Hmm. Um, this would be my first job. How often will they say you're able to give bad news to a customer without making them upset? Um, 
not as often as other people. When you ask, how often will they say you ask for help when dealing with an angry helper? Um, about as often. When we ask your mission, how often will they say you were able to persuade customers to do something they were reluctant to do? Not as often as others. When we ask your agent, how often will they say you were able to build strong working relationships with others? How about that? Question who knows you best would most likely describe you as patient with others. When we ask your most recent, how often will they say that you have difficulty handling a lot of new, right? Most actually describes you as explain complicated things in a way that others can. How would people who know you best say you prefer to learn new tasks? How effective will they say you are at using instructions to fix a problem you've never seen? Not as effective as other people. How will they know that you're doing some logic problems? Above average? Yeah, right, so much above average. When we ask, how often will they say that you notice issues that could become problems in work? You know? They will say that you are best at hmm, any solutions to be training others, being a leader, being a team player. When we ask your manager, how often will say you're able to solve problems that your coworkers cannot? Huh. All right. This will be my first job. Somewhat more often, maybe. Your interest in understanding how things work somewhat more than others. Which of the following types of jobs would you prefer at work? I prefer hmm. training, following a work procedure, developing a work procedure. That would be fun. We ask your most recent manager, how will they rate the speed at which you're able to learn new information? And much more quickly, somewhat more quickly. You're responsible for answering requests as quickly as possible. You've received too many requests at the same time. What would you do? All the requests, so you can remember them and decide. You know, listen to all the requests and then decide the order in which to complete them. Um, huh. Best way to be successful in a new job is to be study work documents, procedures. Take time to study work documents and procedures. I think that's good. Everyone makes mistakes. When we ask your least likely to make, what type of mistake you would be least likely to make? Um, taking too long to learn and perceiving? Oh, least likely to make that. When we ask your men, how often will they say you were late and completely, somewhat less often than others? They will say that you will excel at building strong relationships. You know. When we ask about your ability to be on time to work, um, once every few months. 
when we ask people who know you well, which of the following will they say best describes you? Countable. Dependable. Yeah, yeah, I'm not dependable. Which of the following describes your feelings about being on time? And time is important because it really bothers me to be late. It's what you expect of you. Um, it creates problems for, yeah, it creates problems for others if you're late. You have been working on an important assignment. You've made it clear it must be done on time. What would you most like? Tell your manager, you know, talk with the manager. We often ask our most recent manager, how often will they say that you are late to work compared to others? Much less than others. What best describes you? Keep my promises. Fair to everybody. Yeah. That's what you'd say. When we ask your, how often will they say that you complete your work on time? About 75%. Hmm. When you're given an important new task, which of the following most likely to do? <coughs> important new task. When we ask your how will they describe your ability to make good progress on your work when there's a lot of distractions? No, here we go. Assessment. Wait while we're calculating your score. Oh boy, we got scores. Thank you for your time. And we'll follow up soon with any next steps. Uh oh, that means you've been signed out? Mm, that's too bad. All right, boom. Okay, sign in. Maybe I have to redo the whole thing? Store support, and it's submitted. That's good. What else would we do? There we go, 17 minutes.